And it's time for yet another weekly pickups video. We got quite a bit of stuff from a little bit of everywhere today. So we'll start off with, um, I found this at a garage sale in another trailer court, the one that we get most of our luck from. Uh, three bucks. So pretty good deal. Uh, we already have a taker on this one. because we do have two copies of it. Uh, next, I bought this from my brother's girlfriend's son. Just the DS works good, except for he said the bumpers don't work after we negotiated. Um, so it came with the charger and the game, and it was 15, or in the device, and it was 15 bucks, and then he's charging me five bucks for whatever game of his I may want. Then we got there's a trade here, and I will do my best to put the link below because it's the first time I haven't done that yet. But we trade with the Robotnik Brothers, Bros, Robotnik Bros, and we traded our um, Sonic Shuffle, the not for resale version, and we got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which we needed for our collection, and then he threw in. A copy, a little bonus copy of a stakes here. So that was cool. That was nice of him. I wish I would have thought to throw in something extra because I know that's kind of kind of a common place in the trading world. Um, my husband got this. I need to see that. Got this stuff from a lady that he works with, and he paid ten bucks for all four of these games. So we got the GameCube, Super Smash Brothers, Melee. Melee. It's complete. Nintendo GameCube Shadow the Hedgehog. Also complete. Another game, Sonic Heroes. The, for the GameCube. Complete. And for PlayStation 2, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. Complete. All those for 10 bucks. And then we have... All of these next pile that I'm going to show, we got from our, we bought them from one of our good friends, Pete, and they're in pretty good condition, okay condition, I guess. But we have Clax, what is this? Palamedes? Palamedes? <laughs> no idea what this game is. And then we have... We don't have the manual for this. We have Balloon Fight. It's a cartridge. It's in good shape. box is kind of beat up, but it's a box. Uh, Roadrunner. Also kind of beat up. We have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This box is actually pretty nice. There's the game. Again, again, no manual. So, if you um, have a manual you want to trade for, if you watch the trade videos, there's a few who would be willing to grab some of these manuals just to throw in with the boxes. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, a boy and his blob. Trouble. On Boblonia. 
glob on you. This box is, oh, I thought it was in good shape, but it has a little tear and stuff there. The game. And this one's in good shape, sort of. Cobra Command. Again, no manuals for any of them, but all the boxes and the games. Which we're not huge into collecting the boxes. Obviously, if we get them with the box, we want to have the manual too. And we'll keep it and we'll save it. But we're okay with having cartridges only for the most part. This next grouping is from the pawn shop. We have Monopoly. Sergeant Heroes 2. Battle Tanks. Derek makes all these little uh, labels for them too, which is nice when they're on our shelf and they're not like annoying. They're easy to take off. They don't leave any marks for you guys that like them perfect. So it's just nice to know what the game is. And in the winter, I've always said we'll do a uh, pickups video, or not a pickups, but a um, collections video when there's not so much, there's, there's no garage sales because it's cold and icy, junky. We got this Golden X2 game manual with the Sega. So, all these games here that was $12. And the last grouping I have to show was I picked this up at one garage sale. Oh, there's one after this too. That's pretty. So these are a garage sale video or pickup. All one garage sale, all being sold by a young girl. And she was pretty excited when I paid her too. So. All these games, all the um, Game Boy Advance games were marked at 50 cents. I got a Yahtzee. The Yahtzee was a whole quarter. It's a nice one, too. It's in good shape. Works great. So, this is what we have. We have a DS. I believe this is an original DS. It's a little scratched up. The young girl wanted six dollars and twenty-five cents for it. I everything was so cheap that I was not gonna argue. I like that the DS plays the DS games for this particular model and the Game Boy Advance games. That's pretty cool. It's it's a neat it's a neat piece. I like it, except for this screen is scratched up. And then these games are all fifty cents a piece. Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. Winks. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I think this is Spiral Ice. There is a little label damage on there, but again, it was 50 cents, so. Paws and Claws Pet Vet. GT2. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Teen Titans 2. Lanco Museum. Um, this game was actually $5, but it's complete. It's uh, my first DS game, so that's pretty cool. Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. It's complete. And it even has like the extra little join the club things and all these other little pamphlets in there. <laughs> the 
dogs always think it's the best time to play when we're doing a pickups video. Oh, and then we did get the Tetris. I think this one was only a quarter. And I have this in the trade video. It's uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Um, that is for trade because we do have another copy of it. So, quiet them down. Um, and again, the the same young lady had all these um, games too. They were fifty cents a piece, so I'm not gonna pass them out. Star Wars Battlefront. Um, for PlayStation 2. It does not have a manual. It just has this little insert, but no manual. The game is there. And I believe it is in pretty good shape. Well, actually, it's kind of scratched up, but it'll probably still play. But, again, 50 cents. And then Call of Duty 3 Special Edition. Greatest Hits does have the manual game. Again, that one's pretty scratched up too. I'm not sure if that will play, but 50 cents, I'll give it a shot. Play, then we have SSX. It's complete in the manual. That one looks pretty good. 50 cents. And Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Box. Bots. The PlayStation 2. It's complete also. So all this stuff, all these games, all these games, this, and the Yahtzee was $19.25, so that was a pretty good score. And then last but not least, we have... This stuff is all from our local Half Price Books. Um, so we have... I believe this stuff here was all... Like ten bucks. NHL Breakaway ninety-eight. Hydro Thunder. Real Monsters. And Hit and Run PlayStation 2. Simpsons. Which is complete. And then so that stack was that was all ten bucks. And this was all also ten bucks. All these games were like on clearance, like ninety nine cents. The most expensive one was four ninety nine. So we have King of the Monsters. Spin Dizzy. Wayne Gretzky. Justice League and Side Pocket. So that bundle of games, that those five games were these five were ten dollars. And last but not least, we found or Derek found the player strategy guide to Nintendo games. These were actually five dollars a piece, but he couldn't pass them up. So in this one, it looks like we have is it the Terminator. Who's that? Rambo. Who's that on there? Rambo. I don't know who that is. Well, here's the cover of it. <laughs> if you know who that is, let me know. And on this one, we have. Oh, uh, I'm sure somebody out there knows what the cover of this is supposed to be. Oh, Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania, he says. And then, of course, this is probably the main reason he got it, is because it has Jason on it. And Karate Kid on that one, too. And 
and then there is this one. <laughs> so all those are five dollars. We've never seen them before. Pretty cool. Nice display pieces. So once again, I hope you like our pickup video. Um, let me know if you're interested in trading anything for um, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Like I said, we do need some of the manuals that I showed you and um, some Nintendo 64 games, and I've listed them in the comments on the trades video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.